What's up guys, I'm bringing you a new series, Wi-Fi Battles, on my channel. The first Wi-Fi Battle is gonna be versus Dennis the Menace. We are both using a Poke Aim team. Um, looking at team preview, Magnazone is a really big threat and also Pinther is a big threat but I didn't know that at that time because I thought my Manibus was max defense but it was it was mixed defense, it has like 200 speed death. So we will get into the battle right now. And I'm leading off with Tapu Bulu, because I'm like, um, in my mind, he was either leading with um, Mammothwine, and I know Icicle Crash doesn't Oku me. I can lift that, I can Horn Leech, I'm banded Tapu Bulu, I get all my health back, but of course, I get flinched turn 1. Um, yeah, I was predicting to lead Tapu Fini, predicting my Mammothwine lead, or to lead with his own Mammothwine. But yeah, he flinches me, but um, thanks to Grassy Terrain. I can bring my Toxapex in and uh, eat Earthquake up. Luckily he doesn't go for Stealth Rock, he just goes for Icicle Crash. If I was him, I would have gone for Stealth Rock. Um, yeah, this is a bit fast, I will make the, the video like slower next time. I think I just get up a T-Spike or I get, I'll go for Skull Fishing for a burn. Okay, I get up a T-Spike. And this, ma this Magnezone is the biggest threat to my team, I have no switch in. He's Choice Specs, I have a Mammoth one in the back, he cannot let my Mammoth one come in. So I predict him to flash can here, which is pretty nice that he doesn't go for the electric move and I get him on that. I go for Scald, fishing for that burn. And I think I get the burn, which is pretty nice for me to chip at this Magnezone. Um, so at least I cancel out the grass terrain recovery that Magnezone gets. I myself get um, some black sludge recovery and some grass terrain, which is pretty nice. Um, also, I'm keeping my, um, my sand slash in the back because it's like a hail. Uh, it's like pretty good with Slush Rush. It can sleep, sweep him late game. I need for the pincer. And I think I just go for Scald again here. Uh, he goes Tapu Fini, gets poisoned, which is why I wanted that T Spike up to poison his Tapu Fini chip at it. Yeah, I just go for Scald. Because I don't lose anything from staying and I get my health back. And this is pretty fine by me. And I think I just go for T Spikes again here, predicting him to defog. I had this battle, I think, one day before Christmas, so one month ago. So I don't. Remember every turn. So yeah. Um, what what do I go for here? He, he doubles out. What what do I what? Goes back out into Magnezone. Okay, I, I cheese back again, predicting the defog. And this time it's another 50-50. Um, I still have a mammoth one in the back. And last time I stayed in with my Toxapex. So I predicted him to think that I would go into mammoth one this time, and I stay in again, making a really aggressive play, and it works out, which is pretty nice for me. Wow, that, I don't know why it was lagging there a bit. And yeah, Toxapex, we eat up that nice flash cannon. Um, yeah, this was really risky on my part, and if you t it, I lost my Toxapex and I would have been put in a bad position. But I feel like I had to make that play. As he gets the death drop. Okay, it's, it's um, not lagging anymore, cool, phew. Um, you guys can tell me in the comment section if this is too fast for you, if I should make like the, the video animation. If I should make it um, should make it slower, but the thing is, um, this battle was relatively long, so this is why I sped it up. And I think I just, um, I double out in the Tapu Bulu, predicting his Tapu Fini. Um, yeah, I, don't, I didn't remember that turn, but I played that immaculately. Because there was no way, he, he was locked into flash cannon, I didn't lose anything from doubling out to Tapu Fini. He wasn't flash cannoning again, because I'm in with a Toxapex. So yeah, I, I feel like I didn't lose anything from doubling to Tapu Bulu, because I get some grassy terrain. I can force him out, I can fire off a choice bandit horn leech here, get my Tapu Bulu more healthy. I'm pretty sure I just fire off a horn leech. Um, the, the game is in German, so if you don't understand the attacks, that's why. Um, yeah, that Bandit Hornleech does a decent chunk to uh, Dragon Knight, considering he has his multi-scale insect. And I'm pretty sure I just go into Mandibus or Toxapex here. At, at this moment, at this point in time, I still think my Mandibus is max defense. As he doubles into Ma Magnuson, makes a really nice play predicting my Mandibus, yeah. And if I knew my Mandibus was the death, I could have stayed in Roost tier. But I think I go into Mammoth Swine this time, because I never went into my Mammoth Swine and he always went for Flash Can. So I'm, I was in his head, I was thinking he, he's not going for Flash Can, I, and I get him on that. 
That was amazing, dude. That was that felt so good. I get him on the Volt Switch. Um, I just fire off an Earthquake here because Magnuson was a big threat, and I'm pretty sure he. Never mind, never mind. I double out into Tapu Bulu, knowing he's locked, knowing he's locked into Volt Switch. He just goes under Dragonite. Um, so this doesn't work out for me at all. Yeah, I I remember that turn wrong. I'm sorry. I had this battle five or six weeks ago, and I go into Mana Bus. Um. On the fire punch, we eat that up. Um, I will make the next. I will narrate the next battle immediately after I had it, so I can remember exactly what happens. He drag dances up. I get unnecessary. I make an unnecessary aggressive play here, and you turn out. Um, he didn't really have a reason to to dragon dance, but I understand his play because if I U turn and he switches out, like I have all the momentum. And like he's just in a bad position at the moment and he has to make some sort of play. I go on a Toxic Packs, I pivot back out into Mandibus, predicting Earthquake. As he goes for that, I get some leftovers. And I'm forced to foul play here because he's at plus one. And I don't want to play around with Dragonite, that's a threat. And I'm pretty sure he just brings in his Tapu Fini here predicting the foul play. Makes a nice play. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but yeah, I'm battling Dennis the Menace. Uh, good friend of good friend of mine, shoutouts to you. I'm sorry if this narration is a bit off, <laughs> cause yeah, the, the battle animations are kind of fast, so and I'm trying to remember everything that happened, but it's like hard to me. Magnezone is like still the biggest threat, and I'm like really glad at this point how I'm playing around it, and I'm feeling a bit better. When I went into this battle, I was like really nervous. Um, I'm pretty sure I just go out and Toxapex here, cause he's like on a timer, cause he's poisoned. Yeah, exactly. He just goes for the defog. And here he's um, either gonna go for taunt or he's gonna go for um, switch out. And I think I'm not. I don't remember if I went for T spike or if I double switch into mammoth swine. I know there's um, one turn where I double switch into mammoth swine, predicting him to. Yeah, this is the turn. I double out into mammoth swine, predicting him to go into magnet zone, and he catches me. He catches me. Goes for serve. I didn't really understand. Like, yeah, he made an aggressive play then and worked out, but in my mind he had no reason to serve there. But I think he I think he, he doubled into Magnuson once and he knew that um, I might predict him to go Magnuson this time. I think we I was talking to him after the battle and I think he told me that was the reason he made that play. So my Mamoswan just lost its Sash for no reason. We both have no rocks up. I go hard into Tapu Bulu here because I see he doesn't have Scald, he only has... um. Surf, so I know he cannot touch me, and he doubles out into Magna Zone. Usually, um, Tapu Bulu should always run some speed, um, because it naturally outspeeds Magna Zone. But this Tapu Bulu doesn't run any speed. I just took this team from Pokemon Show, uh, from PokeM's video, and um, yeah, I should have changed the spread. I don't know. At that point, it was Max HP Adamant Tapu Bulu. I don't know why. I just go into Toxapex. And he goes for flash cancel. Wow, <laughs> he doesn't volt switch. So, I, in his mind, he just cannot let that mammoth man come in for free. He gets a spadef drop, uh, spadef drop. But I'm just free to get up a teeth back again here since he defogged earlier. I don't lose anything. Um, I just get all my health back with black sludge and grassy tune, which is pretty nice for me. Um, at this point, his magnetism is like already below 50%. He, he stays in trying to catch me because I doubled earlier. Um, but yeah, even I got that spadef drop, but even with that spadef drop, that does absolutely nothing. I get up a T spike, and I think I just go for either recover here or I fire off a skull. I don't remember exactly, but I think I just um, I think I fire off a skull. I don't remember this turn. We, we shall see. Yeah, he switches out the Magna Zone because he's locked into Flash Cannon, obviously. Brings in Tapu Fini. Um, I might also get up in a second T-Spike. We, we shall see what happened. Yeah, okay, I just fire off Scald. Get some cheap on the Tapu Fini. <laughs> I'm sorry that I don't remember these turns, guys. Um, yeah, I ran out this video like a few times and... One time the animations were too fast, another time they were too slow. I hope this is kind of okay. I think it's at some points the animations are still a little bit too fast, but yeah, my computer is also not the best, so I'm recording this with some emulator and was kind of laggy, so this is why 
this was kind of rough and this like this is not I don't know the optimal settings. I predict him to defog and get up a teeth back again, which is like a pretty nice play. Because he's getting chipped away by the teeth back. He cannot keep doing this. So um he's either gonna taunt here, predicting me the teeth back again. But even if he does that, I don't lose anything from staying in because like his type of thing is getting chipped. Um I'm pretty sure I just fire off a skull here in case he wants to go into Magnezone so I can weaken that as he switches out into Magnezone exactly. Do I teeth back again or do I skull? Oh I double out and talks I double out into Tapu Bulu. And at this point I see the grassy terrain and I see that I'm slower. Which was pretty disheartening. Like <laughs> I wish I could just outspeed this in here and go for superpower, but oh well. I will um, have to change my EV spread on this type of bullet. I don't know why it's adamant max HP. I mean, I took that Icicle Crash from the Mammoth Swine turn 1, but that flinch really sucked. Like, if Mammoth Swine would have brought, been brought onto the Sash, I would have healed up back to full, and I would have been such in such a good position. I get really greedy here and go out into Toxapex, predicting him to Flash Cannon, and he catches me, goes for Volt Switch. Yeah, I was I was trying to stun there. I, that was like, <laughs> I was feeling too nice. He brings in the Mammoth one. I'm just glad that the Sash is broken. I'm pretty sure I keep my Toxapex. I switch out to get some regen. Because this is like still nice. Um, so Magnezone cannot... Um, so if Magnezone clicks uh, Flash Cannon, I have a resist for that. And if I get back to a healthy amount, I can also live a hit from Pinsir. So I just bring out my own Mammoth one. I thought I could live an Earthquake at this point because Grassy Terrain was up. Um, but I'm pretty sure it turns out this earthquake just kills my mammoth swine. Yeah, exactly. My mammoth swine goes down. So I think it's the score is six and five at this point. I haven't kept track of the score. <laughs> he takes a little uh, chip damage, and I think I do. Yeah, I got into a, no a little nine tails to get up my hail. Um, so my slush rush, uh, sand slash, and the back can put in work. And I'm pretty sure I fire off a blizzard here. Just to weaken his Mammoth Swine. And um, Mammoth Swine lives one Earthquake. Okay, I think he goes, yeah, he goes into Magnezone here. I just fought over Blizzard. I got that turn wrong. I thought he would stay in with Mammoth. Um, and Blizzard um, doesn't do that much because Ninetales is pretty weak, but thanks to the Hail and the Burn cancelling out the Grass Terrain, like he's taking some chip damage even though Grass Terrain is up. And that puts him in range uh, for another Blizzard. This is my first time like narrating a um, post-commentated battle, so I will I will get better. I'm sorry this, if this is not the best narration. As Magnezone goes down, the uh, score is six and six at five and five at this point, and I have um, icy rock on this uh, nine tails, which is pretty cool. So I think I have like five or six more hail turns, and I just um, he goes mammoth swine. I just go for blizzard again. I don't really understand why he switched out into. Um, into Magnezone because he just went back into Mammoth Swine. He fired off an Earthquake. Um, I was pretty sure I could lift one Earthquake, which I can do pretty comfortably. And I just go for Blizzard again, Twit KO in his Mammoth Swine. No reason to click anything else. If he went for Stealth Rock this turn, last turn, I could have gone for Encore. But yeah, if he, he might have predicted that, but since he didn't even go for Stealth Rock, we don't even have to talk about that scenario, but yeah. Um, luckily, I left the eye shot on 16 HP. I picking off, pick him off with another blizzard, and I think he goes into pincer here. Yeah, he goes into pincer, and I save my nine tails for later because I only have a few hail turns left, and I want to be able to reset the hail turns in a bit. Um, so my alone sand slash can sweep him late game. He has alone Persian in the back, but. Um, I go hard into Mandibus here. Oh, I'm sorry for the phone in the back. I cannot do anything about that. He Mega Evolves. I like how the uh, Mega Evolve animation looks. And he just go he goes for Sword Stance, predicting me to switch out, making a really good aggressive play. And in my mind, I'm Max Defense Mandibus, and I'm like, yeah, I eat this up. I eat this up 100% of the time. There's no way he kills me. I got Overcoat. I don't take Hell Damage. He takes some Chip from the Hail and from the Poison. I get my Leftovers back. I'm back to full. I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's go, let's lift this, let's eat this up and kill him with a foul play, but 
as you will find out pretty soon he goes for return and I think my mandibles just gets blown away <laughs> I thought it was pretty nice I could eat this up but yeah I thought he was adamant pincer at that time because adamant pincer has a chance to kill max defense mandibles it's a roll in my favor and yeah I thought I was like mad wow he got the roll but after the battle I found out I just have only 60 defense EVs <laughs> I bring my alone on sand slash in this is adamant um, I think you might need jolly for some things but adamant obviously still outspeeds pincer he needs pincer so he switches out needs that for him my bulu and stuff he goes tapo fini I don't risk anything I think I just go for icicle crash cuz pincer is such a threat and I wasn't sure if iron had killed so I just go for the icicle crash I love how sand slash looks Alone Sanders is such a cool mon, I just don't think it's that viable in OU. It just doesn't have the best bulk and defensive typing. typing. Um, yeah, I just go for Iron Head to pick off his Tapu Fini here. As after this, I'm pretty sure he brings out um, his Alone Ninetales. Uh, not his Alone Ninetales, his Alone on Persian. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. The score is 4 and 4 at the moment, okay that's pretty nice. This battle was like taking very long and I was like, yo dude, how <laughs> I wasn't talking to him but I, like a few turns he took like a lot of time. I don't know if his or my internet was lagging. At that point in time I also had really bad internet. And <laughs> we were just chilling playing this like one day before Christmas, that was really fun. I just got a few Wi-Fi battle teams on that day. He goes out to Dragonite, I have to switch because the hail ended. Okay, goes Dragonite, not Persian. And I think he goes for Dragonlance or Earthquake here. Now nah, nah, he's, he's forced to Earthquake. I'm in a lone sand slash. I go back into Ninetales to get my hail back and uh, so I can sweep him late game. And, okay, he goes for Dragonlance. He predicts me that really good really good play on his part. Because if he would he knows I need um, he knows I need to get the hail back up to outspeed him. And yeah, he's he's not a bad player. Um he got played at the beginning with the Magnezone, but don't worry about it, you played well, Dennis. This is a really close game, he he picks me up with the Fire Punch, it's 3-3 uh, three and three now. I stack off my alone nine tails. Um I really like his play Dragon Dancing, because if he attacked immediately, um, killing my nine tails, I would have had one more um, turn of hail, so I kinda have to... I mean, thanks to the Icy Rock, I probably will have enough hail turns to beat um, his entire team, but there's still gonna be a 50 50 so it's not over yet. I go out onto Sand Slash, I pray to god that I hit Icicle Crash. He doesn't even go for E speed, I thought he might go for E speed to get some chip damage. I just pick up his Dragonite, I'm so um, glad that I hit this. But at this moment, it's still not over because he can bring out his Alolan Persian here. And in my mind, this was a 50 50 kind of this turn that is gonna come up pretty soon. As yeah, he brings out his alone Persian and I predict him to go for foul play here and I go hard into Tapu Bulu. In my opinion, he could have gone for parting shot here, predicting my Tapu Bulu because this was pretty obvious. Could I need my Sand Slash to outspeed his uh, pincer. But he just goes for foul play, I'm pretty sure. As uh, Grace Terrain goes up, those animations are taking quite the time, this is why I sped up the battle a little bit. At least at some points. Like the emulator is like really laggy. I sped this battle up like four times. We eat that uh, four player up because we resist. And I'm pretty sure I go for Bandit Woodhammer. Because I didn't have time to calc and I also like I was just chilling and we are having fun. I didn't want to just calc. I didn't want to calc. It was just a friendly match. And I wasn't sure if Horn Leech kills because a lone person is really bulky. And I also didn't want to go for superpower. I just go for a choice Bandit Woodhammer in case he goes into um if he goes into Pinsel that still takes a lot because it's poisoned, hail is up, and I'm a choice Bandit Tapu Bulu. I don't care if he four times resists. Um this foul play is actually gonna almost kill me, and I got really scared for a second that I would drop. As the bar goes all down to the red, I live on 34. If he crit me there, I would have been pretty mad. Woodhammer, that animation looks pretty clean. I might have to put that in a thumbnail. That alone Persian got blown away. Love that animation. Also, alone Persian is a really cool Pokemon. It's not like it's like it's kind of underrated. Like it's not a top tier threat. I die to recall, and I think I only have 
he has only his pincer left and I only have my Persian left. And I, I have my Toxapex in, in the back, but Toxapex dies to pincer. So I bring out my Alone Sand Slash and I outspeed him in the hail. And I just have to pray that I hit this Icicle Crash and I win the game 2-0. If I hit, thankfully I hit. In my opinion, he should have gone for Extreme Speed with Dragonite earlier and for quick. Then he could have gone for Quick Attack here. And if one of the two or both crit, he might have had a slight chance to win. But uh, actually, he had to go off dodge there. He had, to, he had to go for the dodge there. I agree with that play. As Alone Sand Slash beats him and we take the game. 2 and 0. Oh, this was pretty close. I almost lost. Um, Shoutouts to Dennis the Menace. I had a lot of fun in this. Um, I'm gonna get ready to render this now. I thank you guys for watching. Tell me in the comments what I can do better. Also, you can leave your friend code. Um, actually, I might probably ask on Twitter for Wi-Fi battles. So follow me on Twitter. My link is in the description. Um, I will see you guys next time. This uh, outro has been too long. I hope you are like pretty excited to see Wi-Fi battles on my channel. I thank you so much for watching. I'm Bokwich, I'm signing out. SPL content is coming the next days. I have not forgotten SPL as a thing. Peace out, friends. I hope you all enjoy my content.